In this video, we're going to just have a brief tour of where you can find the various Octane menus throughout the Cinema 4D interface. So I'll start over here with the Create menu. We can go down here to the Tag menu and choose C4D Octane Tags to create Octane-specific tags. Of course, many of these menus are repeated throughout the interface, so this is just one place you can find Octane-related tags. We can also go to Render, uh, render settings or edit render settings and choose the octane renderer and this way we can create a preset and also adjust all of our octane related settings kernel settings and even render passes and of course we have the octane menu right here we have the octane dialog which gives a lot of octane specific options here for doing things like creating octane related objects materials, doing comparisons within the live viewer, other options, links to the help. And we can also go to the live viewer window. And the menu right here in the live viewer is an exact duplicate of this menu right here. So uh, the advantage of this Octane dialog is it's a dockable menu. So you could dock it within the interface if you wanted to at a specific place. So let's say we wanted to have it available up here um, while we're working in Cinema 4D. So that's kind of the advantage of having that Octane dialog. Otherwise, the same options are available in the Live Viewer. We have a video that is devoted to working with the Live Viewer, so I'm not going to go too far into this right here, but the idea is this allows us to take a look at our scene as it's rendering in Octane, and we can even manipulate the view and work with other uh, various options here. You can bring up the node editor to work with uh, materials, octane related materials and nodes, etc. And then we have the octane settings menu, which have specific settings related to which render kernel we're using, the camera imager, post processing settings, custom lookup tables, and other settings for our graphics cards, out of core, our octane account. Uh, converting C4D shaders and other options. And we can even create presets here. Down here I have my materials visible and you can also create Cinema 4D Octane materials using this menu right here. And then of course here in our outline view we can create Cinema 4D tags, Cinema 4D Octane tags rather, so it's a duplicate of this menu and we can attach them to specific objects in our scene. And then we have our attributes down here related to the different nodes that we have selected. And then of course, if you wanna get the latest version of Octane for Cinema 4D, you can go to otoy.com, sign into your account, and go to Downloads, and get the latest version of Octane for Cinema 4D. Uh, you just have to Specify what you're looking for, operating system, what version you need. And if you want to try out some of the uh, release candidates or the beta versions, you can click on this link right here and then find the uh, related uh, version that you want to try out uh, for Cinema 4D or Octane Standalone or whatever plugin you're using.